hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video i gave you the project overview and demo of our attendance management project and in today's video we will create a new spring boot application using spring initializer and after this we will open it in intellij and at the end we will run our project as well so let's get started so to create the spring boot application we will use spring initializer and you can access it by visiting start.spring.io and in this spring initializer for the build tool we will select maven and after this for the language we will select java and after this for the spring boot version we will choose 3.3 and after this we need to name our project and for the artifact we will give this as attendance server and after this from the group we will remove this example and with this our package name will become com.attendanceserver and after this for the packaging we will choose jar and for the java version we will use 17 and with this our project metadata is completed now we need to add the dependencies and because in this application we need to create rest apis so for the first dependency we will add spring web and after this we need to connect this application with mysql database so we will add the dependency of mysql driver and after this to handle the database operations we will add jpa dependency as well and at the end to get the boilerplate code like getters and setters we will add the dependency of lombok and with this our dependencies are completed now let's click on this generate button and as you can see we got our project zip file and after this i will paste that zip file in a folder and after this we will right click on this zip file and we will extract it here and as you can see we got our project folder now let's open this project folder in the intellij and after opening the project in intellij let's wait for the project sync and as you can see after downloading the dependencies our project sync got completed and now we need to run this project and to do this we will open pom file and in this pom file we need to comment out this jpa dependency because this will give error without the connection properties and now let's refresh our pom file and after this we will open source folder and in this we will open main and then we will open java and as you can see we got our attendance server application which is the main class and now let's open this and after this we will run the main function of this class and as you can see we got our run configurations and our project starts compiling and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create a new schema in the workbench and after this we will write the properties in our spring boot application to connect with the database schema